are you part of the 92% of agents that will basically not make it? Even somebody at the top level, if you came out here, you learned something. This is the most exciting, stimulating profession in the world. Everything is your concern. I have to admit, these were two of the best days I've had in quite a long time. And interacting and networking with people helped me to grow. Let's all stand. Can we give uh, Ray Lewis a big clap? I thought he did fantastic. Come on, give him a big, big clap. The fact that he um, pushed through all the, um, and stay standing, pushed through getting here and he could have quit, but he showed up and his story is an amazing story. I've been texting Grant Cardone. He's excited about coming tomorrow. I'm really glad Grant is coming. He's gonna do fantastic. And I wanna give everybody here credit for coming to this conference because how many of you had to sacrifice time to come here? And uh, we sacrifice money, time. So you're gonna like my speech, just know that. Go and smile real big, even if you got just three teeth, just go. Because uh, I, I sacrificed my time and my energy, and uh, I left the sunshine. It was very sunny where I live in L.A., but it is a privilege. And in the next 30 minutes, you're going to say, holy schmoly, I just learned something from that guy. So how many of you are ready for me? Okay, but ju just know I'm, I'm, I'm used to really good energy because I speak in the greatest crowds in the world. So you got to give me some really good energy. Clap your hands one more time. Come on, come on people. So um, a shout out, just stay standing to all you that put the conference together. Uh, you guys did a great job. Uh, I want to say this because at the end, my energy will be real high, is that I'm going to give away a free book. Thank you to one of my best friends named Oprah Winfrey, and she's my girl. We do several projects together. We do cruises together. We speak together. We do TV shows together. We do tours together. Uh, I get to hang out at her little house in Santa Barbara. That's always cool. But she held my book called Come Back and Beyond in her hand and uh, paid off a lot of my bills. Come on, somebody. Uh, I mean, when your book goes to number one, it'll pay off at least one bill. Just lift your hands, okay? And I'm gonna give that away at the end. And then also I wanna say that I have um, something that's kinda cool. It's a whole life coaching system that we spend a lot of money on. This is about $1,000 worth of product, and we're selling it at a very low price. And we have a product table over there. So I just want to get that out of the way. And I want to give this to you just because you're handsome. Okay? All right. Good to see you. And then can you turn my mic up just a little bit? Just because I've been using my voice a lot. You can turn it up even higher. Okay? I right, give three people a high five. Tell them you look amazing. And then you may be seated. And where is the timer? Because I end on time. Let there be a timer. So time me right at 30 minutes. I don't talk too long. And watch how I finish right on time. In 1933, a man by the name of Walt Disney walked into a theme park. Some say theme park. And he said, I'm going to do my own theme park, but mine is going to be different. Try that. Say different. different. Say better. better. And more magical. more magical. So I want you to really catch this today because I'm on. So Walt Disney saw a theme park. But he said, I'm going to do my own. But it's going to be different. Say it again. Say different. different. Say better. better. Say more magical. more magical. So 
the early 60s, he creates this theme park called Disneyland. And it became different, better, and more magical. I'm here to tell you, some of you, your life is about to get so good, it's going to be weird. It's going to be different, better, and more magical. Clap your hands like that's a good possibility. Come on, people. Say that. Say, say, say. Different, better, and more magical. I work with entertainers. And uh, I work a lot with Robert Downey Jr. And um, I was asking Robert's mother, because you can tell a lot about from a person by talking to their mother. I said to Ro Robert's mother, I said, I said, when Robert was young, did you think he was going to make it? She said, absolutely. Well, what did he want to be? He wanted to be a director like his dad. He wanted to be an actor, and he wanted to be a humanitarian. So it's an amazing thing that what he wanted to do, he did. I was talking to Brad Pitt's mom uh, who's really cool, Jane Pitt. She's from Springfield, Missouri. I said, what did Brad want to be? And she calls him Bradley. She said, he wanted to be uh, an actor. He wanted to be a humanitarian. And he wanted also to be an architect. And he, he, he's all those three things. Uh, in a couple of days, I'll eat with Katy Perry's parents. And I'm friends with Katy Perry. And I said, well, what, what did she want to be? She wanted to be a singer, and she wanted to be a humanitarian. So in my kind of life, on a daily basis, I talk to people whose dreams became a reality. Who are people who said, I don't want to live a common life. There are three levels of living, almost, say almost, say most, say utmost. Almost means not quite. Like you, you're losing your hair and you try Rogaine and it almost worked. <laughs> just, just go there. You try the dating site. Come on, somebody. And he almost looked like the picture. <laughs> Most people get stuck in an almost life. You better look at me. I'm good at this. I said, most people, say that, say most people, they, they get stuck in an almost, they, they, I, I almost, see what, hap, what will happen, what, see the reason that they get stuck in an almost life. So there's three levels of living. There's the almost, say almost. There's the most, say most. See, but I don't even want a most life because a most life means if I let go a helium balloon, it will go to the top of that roof and it, it will stop. I believe that you can live a life without ceilings. Again, some of you, your life will be so good within three years, it's going to be borderline weird. Clap your hands if you believe... Come on. Come on, people. Say this. Say, say, different, better, more magical. The word magical being supernatural, extraordinary, unbelievable, amazing, astonishing, wonderful, sensational. The word magic has often been seen as paranormal or the occult, but that's just a small, small part of it. You can be magical in your job, magical in your business, and magical in your life. You can be magical in your marriage, even. Robert Dahl says, those who don't believe in magic will never find it. Albert Einstein said, there are only two ways to live your life. One is that nothing is a miracle, and the other as though everything is a miracle. Oprah Winfrey said, the magic is to surrender to what has always been inside of you. You know how powerful that is. Do you know that when I was little, I knew I was going to be a little Timmy story? Hi. <laughs> no, no, people ask me all the time. If I'm with Quincy Jones, he'll like, did you know you're going to be you? I said, kind of. I, 
I had a knowing that there was more to life than what I saw. Is there anybody here that feels there must be more to life than what you have seen so far? How many of you know that 2019 is about to be great? 2020 is going to get better. 2021 is going to be amazing. Clap your hands and shout like it's actually going to happen. Come on, people. So, Mr. Story, Mr. Life Coach to the Stars, how do I discover magic? Number one, observation, if you're taking notes. Observation is very, very, very important, and that is when you hear something or see something or, or, or feel something. Say, say it strong. Say, say observation. But, but I need you to say it stronger. Come on, like you got so many. Say, say observation. So, so I come from the same place as Dr. Dre, who's a billionaire. I come from where the Williams sisters come from. I come from where my friend Kendrick Lamar comes from. I come from a place called Compton, California. So we had seven people in a two-bedroom apartment. That's how we started. That's called Cram. And then we drove in a Volkswagen bug with seven people. That's called illegal. <laughs> hey, I ain't po no mo. <laughs> Every day I'm hustling. So stick with me. But one day my parents... We're going to go to this place called Las Vegas. And I had a white friend named Mikey. And I was the youngest kid by far. And they needed somewhere to put me for the two days they were going to go to this place called Las Vegas. And so they put me at Mikey's house. And, and Mikey's house was an amazing place, look at me, that I'd never been in some situation like this. And I'm talking about observation. Say observation. So I go to Mikey's house, and his mother was like a lady from television. Very proper. Come on. Caucasian lady. And she goes, no, Timmy, when we eat dinner, when you are done, you have to say, may I please be excused from the table? I'm like, this is new to me. Come on. So I do everything they, they want me to do. I got to do a little prayer. And then they tell us that we have to go to bed at 7 at night. How many of you know that's kind of early when you're not used to it? And in my house, there was a lot of music and a lot of, lot of energy because I, I had older uh, brothers and sisters. And, and, and so 7 at night, I mean, I was just going to be staring at the ceiling. But th this lady, Mikey's mother, was about to change my life because she says, Timmy, I don't know what you usually sleep in, but we bought you some new pajamas. Whoa, these white people got pajamas? <laughs> and, and listen to me. What's, what's your first name? Mike. She, she, they were all in a bag and everything. And she goes, go in the restroom. And she said, and I got you a new toothbrush, a new toothpaste. I'm like, do you all do things different? She goes, make sure you brush your teeth and, 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 and get ready for bed and put on your pajamas. I'll never forget, there were these fancy powder blue pajamas. I remember just coming out like, what? Come on, somebody. Even like my walk was different. <laughs> I walked like Denzel Washington. <laughs> but this is funny. I'll never forget laying in the bed and thinking, how am I going to go to bed at 7? But then I started smelling the sheets, and the sheets smelled so nice. They were fresh. I never smelled such fresh sheets. I didn't know there was something called softener at that time. I wake up in the morning, and, and she doesn't just come in all abrupt. She comes in, and she says, Timmy, okay, it's, it's time to wake up. It's going to be a great day. I'm like, what? These white people are full of optimism. <laughs> and then she says, your mom says that you like cereal, but we, I'm going to feed you an omelet, 
but 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 then we're gonna but but then I'm gonna let you have some cereal. Listen, we used to only have one cereal called Special K because it was on sale. And it's a true story. So I ate my omelet, and then she says, Timmy, c- come to the cupboard so you could see what cereals you want. And so I come to the cupboard. This is a true story. This changed my life forever. Oprah loves this story. I come to the cupboard like this, and she opens it up. Watch this. And all of a sudden, it was a- as though the cupboard sang. It was like she went like this, like this. Ah, ah, because it was all the cereals I had seen on television. Come on, somebody. Captain Crunch was so close. Sugar Smacks were so close. Come on, somebody. Tricks are for kids were so close. She said, choose any cereal you want. I got so excited. She goes, Timmy, she goes, if you want, you can even mix a few. <laughs> Just clap if you know I mixed them. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, clap. Somebody say observation. observation. Two nights at that family's house, come to my house, my sheets smell good. Go into my closet, all my clothes are in order. Hey. It's nice to go to the grocery store and know I could buy any cereal I want. Observation. See, some of you are one glance away from your life changing forever. I don't think you caught that. I said, some of you are one glance away from your life changing forever. Somebody, this trip, this talk is going to change somebody forever. Clap your hands and shout like you believe it. I love this crowd. This, this crowd's a 10. Say, 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 say observation. So how do I live a magical life? Number one is, is, is observation. Another one is conversation. To, 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 to have conversation means to talk, to chat, to exchange, to dialogue. I believe, look at me, that I am a, I am the sum of these conversations these people have had with me. I live a very unusual life because I I got to sit and talk with Walter Matthau about music and movies. I got to sit and talk with Jack Lemmon about being an actor. I, I, I got to have breakfasts with Vidal Sassoon and talk about what it was like to come from nothing to then run a $500 million empire. I get to sit up in Quincy Jones's house till today and sit there and, and, and have conversations with him about what it takes to be Quincy Jones. I, I get to sit with Grant Cardone and go at it as brothers about life. Pay attention. And many of the old guys would say, one reason that we love talking to you, Tim, is because you're a good listener. And I am. I like to listen. Because there's a lot I don't know. And if I don't know it, I want to hear it from you. If I come to Tennessee, I want to know about Tennessee. If you live in Ohio, I want to learn about Ohio. If you live in Paris, I, w- I want to live. I want to. I want to hear about Paris. I, I, I am not only an observationist, but I'm a person that, that is looking for great conversations. Some of you are one talk away from a shift. Can I say that again? Some of you are one talk away. From a shift. No, 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 no. Quincy Jones said, you're the voice of inspiration to this generation. And you know when he, when he, when, when he said it, I just took it. He said, I got your back. Oprah Winfrey said, any door that you want open, you tell me what you want open it and I'll open it. Conversation. Look at me. But some of us, not you, some of us, look, are so caught up in ourselves and being what I call singular 
that you're not thinking plural. See, just as much as I learn from people that you know and that you think I name drop, I, I learned from the bellman. The, the, the waitress yesterday, I was talking to her. Some of you are one conversation away from an idea that will change your children's children. Clap your hands. You guys are on fire today. Come on. Somebody say observation. Say conversation. Things that I have observed while traveling for all these years is that people live in four categories, if you're taking notes. Number one, mundane. Somebody say mundane. And turn my mic up even more if you don't mind. Thank you, sound guy. Can, 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 can you say it like to say mundane? Has anybody ever been driving with somebody that's so boring, even though you're driving 70 miles an hour, you want to jump out of the car? Come on, lift your hands if you just... A mundane life is uneventful, unexciting, routine, and ordinary. You are not going to live a mundane life. You are going to live a supernatural, extraordinary, over-the-top, utmost living. Clap your hands, people. You're going to... Some people live a mundane life. Some people live a messy life. A messy life is disheveled, disorderly, chaotic, confused. Listen to me. This is good. Disheveled, disorderly, chaotic, confused. Some people live, number three, a life full of madness, which means mayhem, craziness, in turmoil. How many of you admit you know somebody who came from a crazy family, even if it's you? Lift your hands. At least you know somebody. You know your family's crazy when you got to explain about your family while you are walking in to a Thanksgiving dinner. And you're bringing a new person. Come on. You're like, okay, this is going to be my uncle. He just got let out of prison. He's probably going to hit on you. Come on, somebody. And, and, then, my, and then be careful of my mother because she talks a lot. She gossips. Come on. Be careful of my brother. You never know what's going to happen. Say mundane. Say it strong. Say mundane. mundane. Messy. Messy. Madness. Madness. So here's what most people do. They try to sprinkle magical on their mundane, their messy, and their madness. Ooh, this is so good. You're not going to have a magical life sprinkling dust. Come on, somebody. On your messy. Uh-uh. We got to get rid of the mundane. We got to get rid of the messy. Come on. We're going to get rid of the madness. Do you know what you've been doing the last 10 years? Getting rid of the things you need to get rid of so you can make room for the big life that you are about to live. You better get ready, get ready, get ready, because somebody here is about to live a very big life. Clap your hands and shout like you're going to live a very big life. Say mundane, mundane, messy, mundane. madness. Whew. Say magical, supernatural, extraordinary, unbelievable, amazing, astonishing. Say that's where I'm headed. How many believe honestly that that's where you're going to go? Say the word desire. I like this guy, Les Brown. We do a lot of conferences together. He says, the people who step into greatness are hungry. you got to have the desire and the discipline. Every day, every day I'm, every day I'm, every day I'm hustling. Hey. 
I'm a hustler, baby. I got eight jobs, and I don't complain about one of them. I showed up early today because I ain't late. Come on, somebody. I went to dinner with somebody last night, showed up early. Come on, somebody. Got an early flight tomorrow, I will show up early. Come on, somebody. I will do my job here, show up early, do my job there, show up early, because every, 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 every day I'm... Not some people. Watch. They're moved by their feelings. But you need the D word. That's where you got to give yourself credit. Think about how many people should have been at this conference that are not here because they didn't have the discipline to show up. Why don't you clap real loud that you had the discipline? Come on, come on. Come on, clap real loud like you're catching it. See, my mother, my mother taught us don't do a half job. So we may have been lower income, but we were never lower class. <laughs> it's a big, it's a big, it's a big difference. And my mother's not po no mo because I pay all her bills. Her house is paid off cash. Everything she needs is paid off cash. Look at me. But you walk in her house, which is a nice house, and she's got five kids, but she's got three pictures of me and then one of another kid, three pictures of me and one of another kid, three pictures of me and another kid. And I said to her one day, I said, Mom, you got to get more pictures of the other kids. She says, as soon as they pay all my bills like you do, they're going to get some more pictures. Every day. I don't want to. I don't want to. If I went by just how I felt, do you think like we feel like always going to the gym? Do people don't feel like going to the DMV and being on that bad lighting. Come on, somebody. <laughs> Discipline. Somebody say, 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 say. I am so. Say, I am. So disciplined. And some of you, it's like your nose just grew. It's like, what? <laughs> Say, real strong. I got six minutes. Say, plow, plant, water, harvest. I need, I need more from some of you. Don't do this. Say it strong. Say, 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 plow, plant, water, harvest. Do you think Oprah got that $58 million home she paid off cash by being like this? <laughs> Say it strong. Say plow, plant, plant water, water, harvest. harvest. See, you are about to get a harvest that will change your whole Families, life, I need somebody to get it, believe it, understand it, hold on to it, clap your hands like you are about to get a giant. Come on, people. Is anybody catching this? I, I, I do stuff with a guy named Steve Harvey. We went on a tour. Then I was on Steve Harvey Facebook TV every Monday. We, we were doing a bunch of projects together. You know what he says? He says, Tim, people don't understand how good it feels to succeed. You can change your whole family. Say plow. Plowing is, is work. Plow, 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 
plow. Every day I'm hustling. Every day, every, 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 every day. You're plowing. Look at me. You're plowing. Look at me. You plow. You plow. You plow. But you got to plant the right seed. Every day you got like a bag of seed. You can plant negative seed. Watch. Eh, I don't feel like it. Eh, I don't want to. Come on. Eh. Or you can plant positive seed. Hey. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, I plant seed positive everywhere I go. No wonder everybody wants to do something for me. People try to give me horses, and I live in L.A. <laughs> People give me boats. People give me expensive watches. People try to... People try to give me, people try to give me this, people try to give me that. It's not, it's not by accident. You reap. <laughs> Say plow. plow. Plant. Plant. Water. Water. Water to me is repetition. Every day, every day I'm hustling. Every, 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 every day I'm hustling. You get up every day, every day, every day. Even if you don't feel like you're like, what, 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 what? Come on, somebody. Come on, come on. It's like, what, 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 what? Even if you don't feel like it, what, 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 what? Come on, somebody. Every day, every day, every day. You, you got you to gotta plow. You got to plant. You got to water. You got to water. You got to water. You got to water. And guess what's going to happen? Pay day is on its way 2019, 20, 21, 22, 23 are about to be magical. Somebody stand up and clap like it's a good possibility. Come on, clap like it's a pasta. Come on, keep on clapping like it's a possibility. Stay standing. Say that. Say, stay standing. Say, say, plow, plow. Plant. plant, water. water. Hey. <laughs> what? Come on, somebody. Doors are going to start opening. You never even saw it coming. It's like, you know when you go to a nice store and you're just walking through, then the doors open for you, you're like, holla. <laughs> Last thing I'll say. When you go to Costco, there's no small shopping carts at Costco. Some of you are walking through life with little tiny shopping carts. You better get ready to Costco size your cart because life is about to get very magical. Thank you for letting me talk. Tim Story. I'll see you at the product table. Thank you. Are you part of the 92% of agents that will basically not make it? Even somebody at the top level, if you came out here, you learned something. This is the most exciting, stimulating profession in the world. Everything is your concern. I have to admit these were two of the best days I've had in quite a long time. And interacting and networking with people helped me to grow.